What is up everybody, uh, Abyssal Adversary here, and I'm playing Stardew Valley. Now, I just want to say for the Batman series, I don't have a good enough graphics driver for that right now, so that's going to have to wait for a bit until it stops having the audio and video lag, because I've tried it a few times. But so, I'm playing Stardew Valley. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put. Name's gonna be Abyssal. It's gonna be, uh. The Abs Farm. My favorite thing is, uh. Swimming. For a cat. Let's see. Let's get this. I like that hair. Um, let's just go with black hair. That's the easiest. Um, eye color. Do you like bright blue? And. Uh, I'll just go with, oh gosh, 130 shirts. Let's go with 99. And okay, let's get started. And for my very special grandson. I want you to have the sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. So, pretty much the base of this game, as you'll see in a second, but you're just regular worker. All you do is work. And, uh, there's Woody right there. But, you just can't deal with it. So you decide to see what your Grandpa has set out for you. And so here we are, opening it. Dear Abyssal, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. ABS Farm is located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? So, yeah. As I just said, we're now moving to a farm. And this is, uh, pretty much Farmville. The next step, actually, uh, is a really fun game. You get to actually connect with the characters, talk, do stuff other than just a uh, point and click. You actually have resources you have to manage, so all in all, it's a pretty nice game.
started through the valley, 0 0.5 miles. So this is Robin. Hello, you must be a vessel. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. This is ABS Farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. A little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. This is Mayor Lewis. Welcome. I'm Lewis, the mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Don't listen to her, Abyssal. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this big box over here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. So we have a box of oh, parsips needs a new journal agency. So we have a journal over here, introductions. We have met two out of the 28 people, and we need to cultivate and harvest the parsnip. So let's see. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Let's see what the fortune says. Oh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. And the weather for tomorrow is going to be... So welcome to Kozo 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow is going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. So I haven't played much of this game, but I've played enough to understand the basics. So I like to clear off this little first area, collect any of the things, uh, pull out the axe, chop down these trees. If you see in the bottom right corner, the E and the green, that's our energy. So we have to uh, be careful about that. So now that we actually have a place to put stuff, let's do uh, three rows of five. Controls sometimes aren't the best to follow along, but just plant all the seeds and water them. 
So yeah, this is the basis of the game. But uh, there's also there's a few interesting parts within it. So I'll show you the map in just a second. So you have a wizard's tower over in the bottom left district. You have a ranch that you could get animals from. A whole bunch of people living everywhere. And then I've actually never been up here, so I don't know what's up here. You have a mines that's open day six, I think. And then you'll see what that is in a future video. Blacksmith, Jar Jar Mart, General Store, and then you have a fish shop and a pier down here to go fishing in. And there's just so much to do in this game. If we look in the top right, it shows the day and the time. It's only 8.30 in the morning and we still have all day left. So it's time to go meet as many people as we can. 9 o'clock is when most shops open. Oh. And then let's see what's here. So, Egg Festival's the 13th. Lewis's birthday is the 7th. Vincent's is the 10th. Ailey's is the 14th. Pam is the 18th. And Shane's is the 20th. Pierre's is 26th. And Emily's is 27. Something interesting about this game, too, is that uh, you can marry somebody and have a family with uh, one of the single characters. So let's see. So this is Alex. Oh hey, you're the new guy. Cool. I'll see you around. Yeah, at first, because you don't know many people, can't really talk much. But here's George. Hmm. It's an irritating to have to meet all these new people. Uh, name's George, by the way, not Buzz Off. Yeah, George isn't the friendliest guy. <laughs> Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Her name's Evelyn. But, so yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of people in, in this town. Let's go into Peter's shop. Here's Marnie. Ah, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. She's used to swing by us sometimes. Uh, this is Gus. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Okay, so he's just saying the same thing. This is Pierre. You can either buy or talk to him. Hey, it's Mr. Abyssal, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I also buy produce from you for a good price. And then I think that's everybody. I think everybody else left in this house. But so, saloon's not open till later at night. Here's Mary Lewis's house. He's not home right now. There's, uh, over here. Here's the library, archaeologist area. Yeah, more of a library. So here's Gunther. Hello there, welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? So there's that. So there's a book missing, which I haven't been able to find the book before. But nobody's at the archaeologist's library. So... Let's see, how many people have you met so far? We've met 8 people, still have 20 left to go. So here's the blacksmith. Uh, let's see, his name was Clint. Or, uh, hi, I'm Clint. <laughs> I'm the town's blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm the guy. So, what he does is... You can buy copper, iron ore, coal, or gold ore. And then you could upgrade your tools. So these just make your tools easier, but you, when you upgrade, it takes a few days. So you have to kind of plan ahead for that. 
What's there's something else up there. The Ja Ja Mart or Jojo Mart. Which is like which is like the Walmart of this game. Yeah, Joja Mart. I have half two of what the same half. So let's see, so here's Morris. Here's the manager who's uh the most douche like character you could ever meet. Um, I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, JoJo's customer satisfaction representative. You decide you want to become a JoJo member. I'll be glad to help make your transition a joyous experience. So we could buy stuff from here: wallpaper, cola lie. As you see, they're all JoJo related, and then JoJo cola. And here's uh, Shane. But he's hard at work, so you can't talk to him until after he's done with work. But uh, if you look, the sign, Join Us Thrive, Life's Better with Jojo, or Joja. They're very uh, self-orientated store that uh, really only looks out for themselves from what I've seen. And so I've never went to there, bought anything from there, other than to go talk with people, so. Down here's the beach. Which, here's stuff you can forage. Who's this? Elliot. Ah, the new farmer. We've all been expecting. And whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. He, uh... If you look at him, he's kind of like Fabio. There's a bridge to, uh, bridge to build. 300 pieces of wood. That's Elliot's house. The fish guy is not there yet, but I'm going to see if there's any other stuff I can forage around. Nope. I've never understood these. I think there's one by, uh, in uh, the area I'm at. But I've never been able to go in there and do stuff, so. So is there anybody in here? Oh, I've already been in here. <laughs> I may have played the game before, but I'm not the very best. Hey, look. It's another person. Caroline. Hello, you must be Abyssal, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here, and you have met my daughter, Abigail. She's the one. The, she's the pale one with the purple hair. And then here's Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Uh, what else do you have to say? It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. So, uh, there's one of the little tiny kids. Uh, I'm just going to barely miss them. But, here's Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop at the saloon. That's where I work. That's it. That's all she has to say. So you can't really go any further in most houses, like into people's rooms, because you need a certain level of friendship, which I've always tried to get better friendships, but it's never worked. Uh, over here is where Marie Marlene works, right? I think that was her name. So Leah's friends, which I don't, I haven't met Leah. Is this her? Haley's too involved with the camera. That's Haley. So down here is just a place where you can forage and uh, get like random wood and stuff. So if I pull out the axe, I could chop down trees down here and they'll grow back. And you know, so this is just like where you get most of the stuff when you're out of materials. And here's some foraging. Oh my gosh, a lot of forage. There's a lot of spring onions here. So I've never actually encountered this before. Where there's just been a whole bunch of stuff in one forage area. That's going to put myself ahead quite a lot. Here's a sewer. Which I don't remember if I could go in or not. Yeah, it's locked. But... 
And then here's uh, inventory for. Um, I don't need this stone. So stone, and trash. You can pick this up. Oh, I found some clay. But so later, there's going to be a thing where you're going to, when you play the, if you ever play the game, you want to keep the extra one of each of the forge items you find. Because it's going to rebuild the, well, I don't know how it does, but it calms the spirits and gets you stuff. Because, as you see, as I told you earlier, there's a wizard tower, which you can't exactly go visit yet. This is back to my farm. Oh gosh, how am I supposed to get back? Just going to just have to go through everything. Got rid of the stone. So, uh... It's like a maze at first. There we go. Getting out. And... Uh, as you see, we're back to the front. So, let's see. There's a crafting system too. I don't have enough for it. At first, at the I like to uh, get enough wood to be able to build uh, the chest, so I then I can store materials. Because as you see, I don't have as many places as I would like to hold items. I know you can buy a backpack later in the game. But so, finally build a chest. Gonna have to just get rid of this nine wood. So, put the chest right there next to it. Um, clams you don't really need but like I said I want to keep one of these and then I keep one of those Hold on to the clay, the sap, and the fiber and then I want to sell the rest of the spring onions and then just start clearing out this area the first few days are heavily just clear everything you can. Try to get as much materials and then go talk with random people. It is also a much slower paced game, but there is a slight combat system later, but you'll see. It's kind of hard to explain. You just have to get the timing right, and uh, it's it's interesting to say the least. That's why uh, that's usually where I'm at if I'm not here farming. So, time to just go to bed. So, oh, I got level one foraging already. Wow. So trees sometimes drop seeds, I could craft wild seeds, and I could craft a field snack now. But I have one plus one axe proficiency, so that's good. So through foraging I got 170, so that's a pretty good start. So yeah, there's a, uh, in this game I'm probably, I don't even know how long I've been recording. But I'll probably go to uh, day three. And then we'll continue on from there. So do, are you guys liking the series so far? I know I'm probably not the best guy to watch, but most of you guys that are probably watching are just random people that by chance found me or friends that I've pestered. So I thank you for that. But so every single day, no matter what, first off, you have to water the plants to have them grow. 
and if you stand in the middle, you can water everything around you. And I have a piece of mail. So let's see. So, advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. So I can't get that yet. There's nothing real. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. So Willie is the fisherman, which... Oh, hey, look. See? Uh, you can forage a lot, and that helps you get a lot of gold at the beginning. So what I usually do is I uh, take care of my plants, and then I go do the stuff I need to in town, and when I get back I just handle, try to clean up everything I can. But so, to the beach. We was at the beach before 5 o'clock. So Willie's going to be another person to meet. How many have I met? 15 out of 28. So I still have 13 and I have 12 after meeting Willie. But I know one of them you don't meet for a little bit after Willie. Also, I haven't even started doing it, but I try to give these guys, I'm going to try to give them little voices. If you guys like that or don't, could you guys tell me? Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Hey, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. I don't know what type of accent to give this guy, pirate, Irish. He seems more of a, like, hard-ridden, salty guy. He just, as you can see, he's uh, been on the sea a lot, so... There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old happy used to say, anyways. But yeah, he's, uh... Really, was always one of the nicer characters. He was always nice to talk to and go. So... Now we have the fishing rod. Which you could put out fishing. And then it's going up and down. Fishing takes a while and it's kind of boring. Mm -hmm. So it's not really something that I could do for you guys. But, um. It's. Fishing is a bit harder. I'm not the very best at it. There we go, we caught it. Anchovy length one. Uh, so yeah, okay, so he fishes before nine. Every day he goes in, nine o'clock. You can go sell stuff. So I'm uh, just gonna sell this anchovy because I need it for room in my uh, inventory in case we find some more shells up here. So, seagulls, there's a lot of driftwood around, but it doesn't seem to be any shells, so it's not too bad. So let's see, So this, I'm going to go see how much that backpack costs, I think it was a thousand, but, oh hey, help wanted, I need an eel for a calzone I'm making, can someone bring me one? See, I, I need upgraded fish and stuff to catch an eel, because I've never caught one on my own. <laughs> so let's see, how much is this backpack for? 2,000 gold, I cannot buy that yet. So, parsnips needs, they take 4 days to mature, and they're quite cheap to get. Bean starter it takes 10 days, but keep reducing after that, yields multiple. Um, I think I'm actually going to buy as many of these as I can. 
I can only buy 11 of them. So now I'm going to go set these up in my farm. Plant them because they, t from what I just read, they take 10 days to grow and then they give uh, every day or every two days they're going to give more beans. So, so yeah, it takes 10 days to mature but keeps reducing after that. You use multiple beans per harvest. So, it's going to be a good thing to get. So I have 11 of them. So I will just uh, do... 3 by 3 let's see so I want to store one of these store that store this store the wood store the sap store the fishing rod because I'm not going to be using that much and I'll keep everything else on me for now so I need more water which you just be for the water by doing it over any source of water so, why is it not planting? There it goes. But I can't be over it by the looks of it. Oh, that's only 10. I wish I could count. <laughs> but uh, I was never, I didn't, wasn't getting pre cal, so. So water these plants. Uh, oh, if I can't get by them, that middle one's not going to do good. Did not plan that out because I haven't grown beans before. Uh, so yeah, okay. Well, I guess there's only one that I can't get to, so it was just a uh, waste of money. But it could be worse. There's 12 o'clock right now. I'm going to start trying to get some. Stones up. Clear through all these. Uh, as you see, I found some cold. Sometimes you can find geodes in here. Like that. That was actually a really good... Uh... So you found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside. So you can find ore. You can find uh, certain things like... Um, like the artifacts that the archaeologist was looking for. The artifacts, so to say, are just a whole bunch of, um, just a whole bunch of, what's those things called? Gems and stones, like that. Or fossilized slime. So, it's not too bad. So you see, I'm running, I'm getting uh, kind of low on energy, so I have to watch out for that. If you pass out while working, it's not very good for you because then you have to pay the doctor, which I actually still need to go meet the doctor. But so, yeah, this game is uh, pretty mellow. I don't know if I'm actually going to do a second episode for you guys. It depends on what you guys are liking if I can't find anything else to record. So... I just, uh, if you guys really do enjoy the series, it would be really nice. Leave a like. Uh, so let's see. So I want to keep the coal, keep the stone, keep the geodes for a long time. I already have the daffodil. Keep the wood, keep the sap, keep the clay. Go here, sell the daffodils. Yeah, because I'm really long energy, it's just time to go meet people. Uh, something good to do uh, earlier you saw the bridge that need to be built down at the coast that's something I like to do at the very beginning gives you a lot of extra resource income because a lot of stuff goes there so Maru oh aren't you the one who just moved in I'm Maru I've been looking forward to meeting you so is that person is the doctor dr. Harvey I right, just hold still take a deep breath for me and then here's Evelyn. Yeah, that was kind of rude of me, just walking on their conversation. But I've made 18, so I still have 10 left to me. So, so 
Loon doesn't open till 5, does it? Oh no, it's open 12 to 12, okay. I've already met Gus. Actually, uh, I think you could buy stuff from him, but I don't have any money as it is right now. Nope, you can't. Well, anyways. Uh, we could go up to Ab... Oh, there's Abigail. So, that's right. I heard that someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. So, yeah. Meeting most of the people. There's always, uh... Like I said earlier, there's... You could date somebody there. Here's the old mayor's office, which is locked, right? Yeah. So, uh, mayor's going to show me it later, and that's when I bring all the forage materials, and you'll see. But so, going up here, here's the carpenter's wife, or her husband, I believe. Yeah, greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist farther. Thanks for introducing yourself. So here's the carpenter shop and the scientist's work area. So uh, I forgot what her name was. Is there like a list of people? Oh, there is. Yes. So yeah. So you see Haley, Elliot, Alex, Maru. They're all single, so you could date them and marry them. Abigail, uh, Harvey, and. He has two of the kids, or th two of the kids I haven't met. And then Robin was her name. It was the wizard. Uh, I forgot who that was. But yeah, I can meet him right now. And there's a few others I still need to meet. But he should be just right up here. He doesn't usually stray too far from this spot. He might be a little over by the mines, but yep, there he is. So, Linus, a stranger. Hello. Um, don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Yeah, nothing else. Oh, I didn't know I could go into his tent. But, so there's somebody mining over here, because there's a big block. And, I think that's gone day five. Yeah, there's a guy on this side. But look, another spring onion, if I remember correctly. Leak. This is a leak. Never mind, it comes something completely different. So, there's also this little area over here. Where you can just chop down this tree. Getting quite low on energy, but I should be able to do this. Just gonna, uh, it all went into the water. Which it's a little shame, but I got some sap out of it. Which sap later in the game you can use for fertilizer, which is the only reason why I'm keeping it. Other than that, I just tried to sell it completely. Oh hey, here's one of the kids. Sebastian. Oh you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Yeah, he's kind of the scene kid, if you would say. But so, I actually, I think I'm going to end up, oh, well, uh, it's Robin. But so, I think I'm going to end at day two. Might do a two day, three day increments, depending on how you guys like it. I was thinking about doing five days, but for everything I do, it would take too long. Which, I might actually cut out a lot of the transitioning for the future days. So I could probably get five days in one setting. So yeah, time to go back, put the daffodil into the box, and get everything else ready to sell. So you could also, instead of clicking into the box, you could just do that. And drop these in. Yeah, as you can see... I'm at 4 energy out of 270. Oh, I didn't even check the stuff for today. Let's see the weather report. Welcome to Kuzo 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. 
Now for the weather cast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. So the rain, you don't have to worry about watering. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to end this episode. I got 90 gold from foraging today. For my 60, I have 150 now. But yeah, if you like it, please leave a like, comment. If I can do anything better, I'm not the best at any game. I kind of suck, actually. So yeah, um, guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.